So, welcome back. Thank you. I had a wonderful time. Very relaxed. You well rested? Very well rested. It was really nice. Good. Yeah, and perfect weather the entire time, but we'll talk to Cliff about that. Okay. I, I, I gave him full credit. I'm sure he manufactured it. <laughs> I'm sure he took it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys had perfect weather while we were gone. You probably cried every day, right? While you were gone, yes, we did. Yeah. We were, we were all verklempt, right, Megan? Yeah. All verklempt. You know it, was, it was a little hot. It was a little rainy, but we managed. And now it's nice today, so I'm excited. <laughs> well, here's what's happening in the news today. It's almost time for school. Not only do students need to go out and get ready for the new year, teachers and staff are getting ready too. Tatiana Cash will show us Bismarck Public Schools staff orientation. And of course, we all know about the oil boom and the masses of people coming in, but so are their pets. However, when people leave, those pets are getting left behind. Zarina Carzada will have that story. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. And in, Mr. in the test kitchen with Howard, we are going to take a look at uh, the fact that summer is winding down and we're going to give you some of the best tastes of summer before we go to the cold weather. And what are the tastes of summer? This time of year, it seems like our markets and farm stands are exploding with lots of fresh summer veggies. And not only are they abundant, but they're also cheap now. Learn how to make Fiesta Zucchini Salad. <laughs> Back to you guys. That looks That's good. good. Except yeah. for the zucchini. I'm not a big zucchini fan. Neither am I, but it yeah. still looked good. Yeah, maybe anyway. raw would be the way to go. Maybe it's <laughs> what? raw. Maybe it's it's raw, maybe, and maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. I don't maybe know. so. Okay. Kudos to you. For the weather. No, for I don't take credit weather. for the weather. <laughs> it was absolutely beautiful. We then had, I don't have to take grief for <laughs> I know, the but, bad weather. But it was a Goldilocks day every single day at the lake and we brought it back here to and share i was kind of watching the weather a little bit not watching too much tv but i saw we had quite a bit of rain here in bismarck is that right uh, kevin yeah we did yeah. we had a real i guess what you call a gully wash yeah on saturday yeah, yeah. yeah. And we just, had nothing like it that. came yeah. down in just bucket loads on yeah. saturday but uh, gonna be a nice day today a goldilocks day yeah. meaning it's uh, not too hot not too cold not too windy just about right for any kind of outdoor activity. Highs in the upper 70s to low 80s on Monday. And light and variable winds at about 5 miles an hour. Now, here's our weather in motion model. And by 5 p.m. when you're getting off work, temperatures very comfortable. Upper 70s to around 80. So if you want to take a bike ride, a run, a walk, do some gardening, uh, this evening would be great uh, weather for that. Tomorrow morning, temperatures right around 60. And then a little warmer tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 80s to around 90. That's getting a little too hot for some folks. And then if you want the rain, well, we've got that in our forecast for you too. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, pretty good chances for showers and thunderstorms. Well, All I have right. to say, summer's, it looks like summer is returning for mm -hmm. those of you who, who missed it last mm -hmm. week. For a little bit, anyway. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, thanks a lot. You betcha. It's nice to see you wearing the sunshine tie. This is the Goldilocks tie. There, that's right. With the sun Come on. trying to get, get I, a straight I, I, image. I, 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thanks, thanks okay. Yeah, speaking of that, Saturday, I mean, it was, it was just, it, it was all in like a period of ab about an hour. Saturday afternoon, it was coming down so fast and so hard. It's like, and I don't know if you've experienced this, uh, you're watching the rain and the water spill over the edge of your rain gutters and it's going everywhere and you just kind of, what do you do? You know what I, what happened to us? What's My that? daughter had a bunch of stuff that she was sorting for an upcoming rummage sale yeah. and um, she had it all sitting out on our patio in various piles. Keep, rummage, <laughs> yeah. give away. Okay. Didn't, wasn't. And wasn't watching the skies. Got rained on. Went inside to have a piece of pizza. Looked outside. Soaked. It happened that fast. Soaked. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. soaked. I felt bad for Living her. in North Dakota, folks. Yeah, so okay. there it goes. Well, welcome back. Time once again at 9.05 for another edition of Ask Kevin and Monica. Anything you want to know, folks, we'll, we'll answer any and all of your questions, okay? It could be about love and relationships. could be about the weather. And what do you do when the rain comes down so hard you don't know what to do? That sort of thing, okay? All right, so here's the first one. This is, uh, actually, we had a couple asking, where's, where's Monica? Okay, Jess and Washburn was one. Where's Monica? When is she coming back? Okay, Here so tell everybody. All right, we went to Ice Cracking Lake in Minnesota, which is about, I don't know, about 20, 30 miles from Detroit Lakes. Okay. And uh, it's on the White Earth, I believe, reservation. It was wonderful. There's Cliff. Someone saying, looks really relaxed there. He's very relaxed, saying, Don't take my picture. Don't take my picture. <laughs> so you take it anyway. I took it anyway, of course, right. as any good wife would. All right, so okay. we got some more pictures so there. How about this we're, one? That's me on the You're beach. You're looking relaxed, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had a nice trip. It was, uh, 
you know, this resort, we have Cliff's entire family goes, and he's got a lot of brothers and sisters, and they come with their families. And now, of course, the children are all grown up, and, and they're bringing their own kids. And did you go kayaking? I did. Look at that. Yeah, I went kayaking. I did something every day. I went, went running, I mean, along. The only thing about Minnesota, it's beautiful. Yeah. But you're out running, and you get extra, you get extra exercise because you're swatting the bugs the oh, whole really? time. I mean, it was, it was okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it was buggy. But All right. Do we have a couple? More? We got a couple more pics here. Can we throw that? Yeah. Now, now that's that's, we, that's our little our humble abode. Nice. It was very nice. It had a little balcony off the bedroom, and it was it was uh, not rustic in the least. Actually, right. it was lovely. Let's do one. Let's do one more. Can we do one more? There, there it is. Look at that. Yes. That's, wow. Every day it was like the lake was. Oh, I guess there's more. Every day the the lake was like glass. It was nice. So pretty. Okay. And well, then oh oh there's the, there's eating eating. There's me dishing up. Oh, okay. I, was gonna, uh, I couldn't see you there for yeah, a second. Yeah, I'm right okay. And then finally... And then we all sit around in a circle and so have So this is, this is Cliff's side of the family? Cliff's side of the family. Everybody comes, almost right. everybody. There are a few now adults who you know have jobs and whatever outside of the state and can't make it, but um, I, I'm looking forward to the time when all the, everybody has their own kids, and so far that hasn't happened, and then they, yeah. they bring them, and, and it'll be... I mean, we take over the whole resort. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. Here come the nailers. All right. I know. I know. <laughs> All right. Another one. Uh, Mary and Bismarck. Uh, hey, Kevin. How's your 11? You missed this. You missed some good television, my friend. Really? Yeah. I got Botox. Right here in the 11. Oh, there's the 11. The 11. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Carla Saylor from Dermacare Clinic came and actually injected Botox. And have it, has it changed? You? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I still have my mental faculties about me. Well, we weren't expecting <laughs> so, you to lose your head. Yeah, right there. I don't know. Does it look any different, folks? I don't know. I don't remember that it was, oh, see, but yeah. it looks good. You just, yeah. you look good, as always. Well, we'll see. It doesn't kick in, apparently, to like a week to two weeks yeah, later. Yeah, it takes a little while to... So we'll see how that If out. you have a, you know, right. All right. All right. Um, okay. Uh, this is from Doris again. Doris uh, wants to know, have I gotten out to Medora? No, not yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do that over Labor Day weekend. Have I watched the Mr. Bubble video? Do you know what she's talking about? Oh, I absolutely do. Because Mr. Bubble's a Bismarck thing. Well, there's, there's a, a video. There's a, like a documentary on Harold Schaefer. Okay. And, and Mr. Bubble. And it's fascinating. It's actually really well done. Do you have it? Can I, I borrow it? I don't, but I bet it's at the library. I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. All right. And would you, <laughs> Doris goes, would you like to borrow mine? I'll, I'll well, check there it you out go. The library. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. And then finally, uh, Teresa and Minot writes, what are your favorite guilty pleasures? Uh oh. Well, let's go, let's say three. Okay. Three guilty pleasures. Go ahead. Handbags. <laughs> handbags, guys. Okay. I love handbags. Yeah. Uh, I'm not much of a shopper. All but right. I do like to go to H&M at the Mall of America. She does. I can vouch for that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'd say that's a guilty pleasure. Speaking as the schlepper yes, for that. Yes, the schlepper. And I also do, I, I tend to binge watch series while I'm doing my hand sewing. Yep. Netflix ne or well, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. But yeah. Yeah, I'll sit there and watch the whole year in, in a weekend. Yep. Okay. So I'm with you on that one. Binge watching, only I'm doing it on Netflix. Um, it's hard not to because they yeah. leave you with the cliffhanger, right? Exactly. And then shoes. I love shoes. What can I say? I like shoes too. I like shoes. Kind of goes with the handbags. And then um, snowballs. Snowball. Those hostess. You oh, know what I'm talking about? No. The coconut. You know, the, the ding dong, I guess it's a chocolate ding dong coated in coconut and marshmallow. You know what we should, if, if you die unexpectedly, which God forbid, <laughs> but if you okay. did, we could bury you with those. And then if you suddenly woke up, they'd still be intact. They'd still be good. Even yeah, they'd it was still 100 be good. years from now. So there you go. Shoes, snowballs, and binge watching snowballs. for me. Snowballs. Snowballs. Like the white ones with the chocolate inside. They're, they're white, they're pink. Um, I've even seen green ones on St. Patty's Day. With the coconut. Yeah. You got old coconut. Anyway. There's nothing art. There's nothing artificial about no, that. No, no, not at all. That's that's how you can you know keep your youthful appearance. Yes. <laughs> or something like that. Check it out right there. Ask Kevin and Monica at kfyrtv.com. All, all right. right. Something else uh, you missed while you were gone. The apparently kid. Apparently Have you seen this? Kid, no. Little five-year-old kid named Noah Ritter who became an internet sensation after being interviewed live at his local county fair. And, and, and if you've seen the video, I can't believe you haven't, but... Uh, well, because I was where there wasn't any. Yeah, yeah, but he stole the show 
from the reporter. He's holding the microphone. Apparently, I've never been on live TV. So um, apparently, yeah, he, he <laughs> kept using the word apparently. So then, Funny. after that became a hit, they started making T-shirts at the fair with Say the word it. apparently, apparently on it and selling them for 10 bucks and it would benefit the Shriners Hospital and now young Noah is the star of his own music video check it out here did you think about the ride It was his, apparently is his catchphrase, and he he, uh, he was talking about going on the rides at the fair and freaking out on the rides on the fair, and apparently, uh, apparently, uh, <laughs> his grandfather just hands him the remote after the Powerball and lets him 